guy that actually had his age reversed. So he was born old and then he sort of became younger. Uh, and in the last episodes of Wellness Wednesday, we've been talking about never getting sick um, through breathing right. And we used the Wim Hof method of proper breathing, stressing our body with ice baths, and also fixing our mind side by changing the questions in our mind. Um, and, and you know, today we want to talk a little bit about this. How do we reverse aging? Uh, so before we get into this whole concept of, our, of, of aging as a disease and aging and reversing aging, we've got to talk a little bit about mortality, right? Why are we mortal? Uh? What is the process of aging that prevents any single body from being able to last forever? And what causes aging in the first place, right? So these are some of the questions I want to tackle first. And once we get there, uh, we can talk a little bit about how do we prevent uh, aging and how do we enable our bodies to last the three, the, the 120, 150 or so years uh, that it's meant to last. And, and, you know, in the last 20 years or so, we've learned a lot about uh, aging more than the previous 2,000 years combined. And, and we are now finally making progress with so many new sort of uh, treatments, uh, processes, slowing down aging. Um, and today we're going to discuss some of the latest findings. I mean, there's some great stuff by David Sinclair. There's uh, scientists in Israel that, that use oxygen therapy. There's a whole bunch of things that actually has, uh, has, has opened our eyes to uh, this whole concept of aging. And if aging... Uh, is truly something that we can stop and we need to, right? Now, a lot of times, many, many years, we've been thinking that the reason why we age is because of DNA damage. Uh, it makes sense, you know, because DNA con contains all the instructions to build up our cells and our bodies. Um, there are also diseases in which, uh, uh, when, you know, when, when, when sort of uh, DNA repair is in part, uh, patients kind of look as if they were aging in an accelerated pace. Pace, right, so we've seen this what we call accelerated aging diseases such as progress, progeria, and or, or sometimes it's called the Huntington Guilford disease, the Werner syndrome, um, and, and many others like co cocaine syndrome, and so on and so forth. But what we learned is that DNA damage is just a small part of aging, there is other really deeper uh, reasons why uh, DNA damage may not just may, may just be just a small part. And, and the reason we know that is because when we clone, right, cloning, DNA is used for cloning, right? So the DNA containing nu uh, nucleus is extracted from an aged cell. I mean, somebody, you know, generally an old animal, uh, their DNA uh, containing nucleus is extracted from an aged or old animal and put into an egg cell. And, and somehow from this egg cell, a new young animal is born. And in most cases, these, these animals from, from uh, uh, cloning actually experience a normal lifespan. Um, so, you know, the damaged old DNA from the animal, even though it's accumulated over a lifespan, somehow when it's extracted, seems to suddenly be repaired and this new animal. So, so obviously there must be some, I mean, DNA may be, but it may not be the real cause of why uh, people go through uh, um, uh, aging. So again, my team at Leaderomics, we put together or they put together a couple of interesting uh, sort of uh, tidbits on five uh, myths on on what people think is aging. So before I get into explaining aging and going into some of the the the, the sort of recommendations on how you can reverse aging, how you can be like Benjamin Button to some extent, um, I'm gonna share five little uh, myths that my team, uh, uh, led by Sasha and Matt, put together. Um, so blame them, not me. Uh, but anyway, it's it's fun little tips and 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 here's tip number one: never cracking a smile starves or staves off um, uh, what we call wrinkles. Um, now, celebrities like Kim Kardashian and Vic Victoria Beckham, right, they swear with this idea that an expressionless face actually helps prevent wrinkles. Um, but uh, I don't think this is, this. you know, honestly, I don't think this uh, uh, this this sort of, it's, it's a myth, right? So you can smile. In fact, there's tons of muscles in smiling that actually helps uh, helps you, and when you smile, you actually uh, uh, end up becoming even more healthier. So we'll, 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 we'll say Victoria Beckham is wrong on this one. The more water you drink, the better. Um, now, we've been told that drinking uh, lots, of, lots of water can help clear our skin and aid in our anti-aging uh, endeavors. In fact, uh, doctors like uh, Joshua Zegner, uh, who, who is like a professor of dermatology, right, um, in Mount Sinai Hospital, says that um, you know, essentially, this is a common with myth that has absolutely no backing, right? Uh, absolutely no backing. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not the amount of water you drink uh, that will determine your your um, sort of uh, 
age, right? Uh, aging is determined by your genes. Um, that's that's true in some cases, but it's not really true because uh, the aging of your skin is actually determined by both intrinsic and extrinsic factors. Um, so there, there is some genes, uh, and, and there's some people, you know, people smoke at 99, 100. Uh, you know, we, we had a, a famous actor, uh, George Burns, who's like 99 and smoking. And so there, there, there is some genes that enable, uh, but generally speaking, aging is not determined by genes. Now, uh, the next myth is fun. Uh, sunscreens should only be worn in the sun. Um, and and uh, this is a myth uh, again. And the final myth I want to put uh, out that the team put together is top five myths is the higher the price, the better the skin care. Um, not very true again. Uh, so that's so much for the myths. Let's let's move away from the myths. We want to talk a little bit of a Benjamin Button effect. And this actually uh, was a CNN article uh, that was written uh, just a couple of years ago, about a year or two ago, about the Benjamin Button effect, how scientists can reverse aging in mice and the goal is to do the same for humans. Now, how does that work? So before, before we jump into that whole myth, uh, uh, this whole concept about uh, reverse aging and, and how we can become like Benjamin Button, let's talk a little bit about aging, right? Um, and, and what that means, right? So aging is really not about lifespan expansion. I mean, when, when you say reverse aging, what we mean is not... Uh, it's not really about making you live longer and, and this elixir of life uh, and, and so on and so forth. Really, the, the idea behind this right, is so that you will have a healthy sort of life uh, for longer. The problem is you can live long, uh, but if you're 80s, you, know, you can live to 120, but let's say in the 80s, you become sick and bedridden. You know, it's pointless to be living for so long, right? Um, and, and it's very interesting. More and more research we are, we are finding turns out that when you are healthy, and you love life, you don't die, right? So if you're healthy and you love life, you don't die. Uh, so we, we, we have to learn to stay healthy for longer and, and healthy means be able to move around, being able to enjoy life, being able to travel, being able to do the stuff um, that, that, that all of us can do at you know, pretty much uh, our age when we're young and so on and so forth. We should be doing, able to do that in the 80s or 90s and even in our hundreds and we're seeing more and more people getting to that point. Um, and that's why, you know, we have this Wellness Wednesday because we want to talk about how you two can live longer, but not just that, but be healthy, but also have your friends and, 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 and later we'll, we'll, we'll study a little bit about some of uh, these things. So we are, we are, we're kind of trained to think that aging is natural and part of life. So we accept it. But essentially, the more and more we, we explore aging, the more and more we find that aging is actually not natural. Um, and I see some comments coming in, you know, Esther says, seems too, too good to be true. Well, let's talk a little bit about it. Um, and, and, and Dinesh says, you agree with the small part. Yes, Dinesh. Um, so, so let's talk a little bit about, and I know you have question marks on genetics and, and there is some element of genetics to it. Um, but again, you know, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about some practical stuff and we will talk a little bit about the, the experiments that David Sinclair and his lab in, in Harvard Medical are doing uh, right now. And I'll, I'll walk you through some of that uh, in a little bit. But let's talk a little bit about aging right now in the past we saw how uh you know it it, it was really uh, uh uh if you think about how we have sort of uh there's some people right that go to uh you know in their in their 50s 60s they become uh, uh unhealthy uh and they sort of quickly progress and they don't really last very long uh and others sort of continue to be at the age of 30 or 40 or 50, even in their 80s and 90s, they seem to never seem to age. At the same time, we've seen life expectancy move from 35, 40, you know, to almost uh, uh, 70, 80 globally. Uh, so it's, it's very interesting how uh, all these things are happening. And there are many studies out there on, 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 on communities that age uh, a long time. And some of the, the studies are the Mankato nuns uh, in the in, 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 uh, United States, in Loma Linda. Uh, there's the Italian community in Sardinia. And there's the Okinawa community in Japan. They all live past 100. Uh, and so, you know, uh, David Sinclair and his team just studied these communities. And they said, you know, here's our, here's our, here, here are what, our, you know, these communities have. You know, the, the, the Loma Linda community, they were uh, they, they had healthy social circles. They eat nuns, nuts. Uh, they're nuns that eat nuts. Um, and then you had uh, 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 the, the Sardinia community. They, they eat flower beans. They, 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 they love wine and they were consuming a lot of wine. Um, the Okinawa guys, there's no time urgency. Their likability, lots of turmeric. Uh, that's what we found. But they also find some commonalities among all three, right? 
and and what the commonalities that they found right um, were that they were close knit families that very strong families most of them were not smokers uh, they were heavy plant heavy diets. Um, they, there was constant, uh, uh, moderate physical activities, a lot of social engagement, a um, lot of social connection. Uh, they were they were consuming legumes um, and 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 things of those nature. So we we we've seen those studies, the longevity studies, um, and then most recently, you know, David Sinclair, you know, came up with a book called Lifespan: Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To. Um, and again, you know, a couple of years ago, there was this study on why we age. Why do we age? Um, and, and there's this study called the Hallmarks of Aging. And this is a very interesting study because they started to jump into trying to identify eight, nine, ten different dimensions of why we age. And I think one of the most interesting dimensions of why we age uh, is they started to look at inflammation. Uh, and, and again, inflammation uh, were primary causes of, 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 uh, of, of damage uh, or aging. Uh, and then also what we call the ento uh, gnostic sort of hallmarks uh, and some other hallmarks where you had uh, uh, sort of stem cell exhaustion and and, 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 and and other pieces. But some of the biggest one, you know, uh, uh, genomic instability, uh, telomere, telomere attrition, and probably one of the most interesting one is this thing called the epigenetic alterations. Um, and many people will say, you know, what is this epigenetic uh, alterations and what it, what is it all about? Um, and, 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 and this study, you know, started in 1974, right, uh, really, uh, that, that sort of led to essentially the hallmarks. Uh, and the biggest cause for aging is this decline in this epigenome. Um, and, and what is this epigenome? So, so think of this, the epigenome determines uh, which genes are active and which genes are not. So, so think of the epigenome as an on-off switch for our genes. So it's like a like the the you know when our light switch we can on it we can off it. So the epigenome actually is sort of like the on off uh, switch for our genes. Now the older we get, uh, the epigenome becomes the you know sort of dysfunctional and dysregulated. Um, and so genes that should be switched off are switched on, sort of like cancer promoting genes. I mean this gets switched on instead of switched off. And genes that should be turned on are turned off. Uh, genes that protect us and repair ourselves are sometimes turned off. Right and also. This, this sort of uh, winds up our DNA so that our DNA becomes less organized and essentially makes our entire cell unstable. And, and, and there are, you know, and, and if you, and later I'll, I'll, some of the recommendations, we talk about NMN, vitamin C, um, and, and uh, the, the alpha uh, ketoglurate, and, and some of the other things can actually improve our epigenome, this on-off switch. And, and essentially more and more as scientists start to dive deep into the space, they start to realize that this is a key, right? It's not really about the DNA, uh, but it's really about this altered uh, uh, epigenome uh, that, that comes in. Um, and, and again, you know, Karam says these, those three communities are extreme outliers plus the culture and the way of life. Absolutely, uh, Karam, you're spot on uh, because they have processes, right? Like walking, uh, a modern exercise, like the communities that they've built where even at old age, uh, they've got each other to lean on, to hang out with, and they don't have naggy kids uh, who are 30 years younger, who don't really, who, who really have time to connect and socialize and so on. Uh, but what we can do, Karam, I think is very interesting, is that we, how do we replicate this, right? So the idea is that there are communities, so obviously uh, these things exist. How do we actually replicate it as we grow old? So I'm, you know, I'm, as, as I am in my, you know, as we are in 50s, I think Karam, uh, I, I forget, you might be in your young 30s or 40s, um, but as, as each of us go into this zone of 60s, 70s, how do we replicate some of these things so that we can have vibrant, healthy lives and continue to be socially productive uh, and be able to contribute significantly uh, to whether it's to, to enable us to take care of our grandkids and great grandkids and so on and so forth, but also to be engaged uh, socially and, and, and connected um, uh, in a vibrant way. Uh, so thanks uh, for, for that comment and, and you're absolutely spot on. But, but you know, I won't go back to this uh, hallmarks of aging that we talked about and, and you know, really zooming on this epigenetic alteration. Um, that, that, and, and, and so what happened was that uh, scientists like David Sinclair, they, they, and this is where the CNN article uh, and, and, and some of the, uh, the research scientists have been focused on, uh, it started in, in, in the labs where they looked at mice. And if you see these two mice, same age, same sort of uh, 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 everything, but one looks very young and another looks pretty old. Uh, and one actually went through what we call the process of fixing their epigenome. 
um, of, of repairing the epigenome uh, and, and enabling that to be much uh, better. Um, and I see more comments uh, uh, coming. Water is definitely better, but too much is or too little. Good measurement, we want liter for every. Perfect. You know, I, 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 I think you're absolutely spot on, um, uh, Gerard. Uh, and I tell you, we, we will listen. There are so many great, great uh, pieces of rice. And in fact, some of the traditional things that we think about, I mean, I was talking about Wim Hof and the breathing and some of, when, when I get to some of the recommendations uh, on how we can live uh, to this point and how we can continue to do it in a very simple manner. Um, some of the things I've learned to practicalize in my own life uh, will be some of the things we will share. But I will just walk through some of the signs behind um, how we are getting to where we are getting. Uh, and, and Karam's 57. He looks uh, pretty young. So Karam, we'll, we'll, we'll have to get you on our next show uh, to talk a little bit about uh, this. But let's talk about the molecular biologist David Sinclair in his lab in Harvard Medical School. Uh, these, these old mice he started to reverse their aging and he started to get them to be young. And, 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 and so he you know, was using proteins that can turn an adult cell into a stem cell. Uh, Sinclair and his team actually reset aging cells in mice to earlier versions of themselves. Uh, so the first study was published in late 2020 um, and these old my, uh, mice with poor eyesight and damaged retinas could suddenly see again and, some, and, and their vision rivaled their offsprings. I mean, this is how, uh, uh, you know, they, they kind of... And, and somehow the cells know, and, and this is what, you know, Sinclair sort of said, somehow the cells know the body can reset itself and they still know which genes should be on and off when they were young. Uh, and, and we think that, and th these, are, these are comments from Sinclair in his study, we think that we are tapping into an ancient regeneration system that some animals use. When you cut off the limb of a salamander, it regrows a limb. The tail of a fish will grow back, the finger of a mouse will grow back, and so on and so forth. And there's this backup copy of youthfulness information that's actually stored in our bodies. Uh, and he called it the information theory of aging. So it's, it's loss of information that drives aging cells to forget how to function, to forget what type of cells they are, and, and basically tap into a reset switch that restores the cell's ability to read the genome correctly again, as if it was young again. Um, so, so this is this is interesting, right? I mean, it's one of those interesting things that um, we, we 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 we've seen how using these proteins, these scientists have have been able to to drive these things and and the breakthrough that they've gone through. Um, and 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 you know, one, another thing that the study is that we have technology today to be able to go into your hundreds without worrying about getting cancer in your seventies, heart disease in your eighties, Alzheimer's in your nineties, um, and so on and so forth, right? Um, and, and David Sinclair, interestingly, he's kind of using some of the knowledge that he, he has in terms of how, you know, what sort of medication works. I mean, he uses medication, but there's others um, like Wim Hof and others that have figured out how to drive your immunity so you don't get sick, how you can build up your, 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 your tolerance and, and others uh, and enable you to be, to be able to basically live really well in your 80s, 90s and 100s. You know, I, I, again, a comment from him. I believe in that in the future, delaying and reversing aging will be the best way to treat the diseases that plague all of us. And, and I want to I make a point of this, you know. Many times we think about diseases like heart diseases. Um, and we, 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 you know, when, when we think of heart diseases, Alzheimer's, uh, osteoarthritis, and so on. Actually, if you think about the root cause of this, it's because our body ages. And as our body ages, you know, different things get off that cannot actually solve uh, a certain problem, and these diseases take uh, take take a nature of of coming on ourselves. Um, so, if we can actually reset aging, and 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 he strongly believes that aging is a disease. Um, and I want to share a couple of tips, uh, both from him and you know, kind of collected from uh, 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 different different folks. And uh, here's a comment uh, from from David Sinclair. Uh, but the real advance, in my view, was the ability to just tell the body, forget all that just be young again by just flipping a switch. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to be all 20 again, but I'm optimistic that we can duplicate this very fundamental process that exists in everything from a bat to a sheep to a whale to a human. We've done it in a mouse. There's no reason I can think why we shouldn't be done in a person. Now, and, and, and one of the conclusions he has is that our mind is very strong. Now, it's the same thing, you know, last week or two weeks ago, we talked to Pia Chai Tio from the Wim Hof uh, Institute, and, and we talked about you know, three levers that Wim Hof uses to, to become the, you know, Wim Hof has done 26 different world records, right? Um, and he's achieved all that, right? And part of it is the ability of the mind to, to reject. I mean, he's, he's been injected with COVID and E. coli and others, and he's been able to reject it by the mind. So there is some power in there. And, and what I want to do 
is as we talk about, and, and here's, here's some of David's recommendation um, that he uses to enable, and he's done it with his dad. So his dad was in his 80s, and now he's, 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 he, he's kind of you know, very, very slow and, and able to move much and, and kind of you know, in, a, in a state of, uh, of, 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 of sort of de de degeneration. Uh, but because of some of the work that he's done, um, he's able to now have a very active father in his 80s and you know, climbing hills and, and doing a whole bunch of things. But let me share some of his conclusions and I'll share a little bit about uh, some of the broader things that we can do in a practical way. So his conclusions were, don't eat three regular meals daily, right? Do not do lose your breath from exercise. Lose your breath, right? And again, similar to what Wim Hof uh, uh, and Pia Chai shared, um, is that you know when you you know it's about breathing in and holding it, and and there's science evidence to losing your breath uh, because again, scientists in Israel have found very interestingly is that when you are when there's lack of oxygen in your body um, and 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 you go into this uh, 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 time of epoxy, uh, new cells are created, new, new stem cells are created. Uh, do hip hinge exercises, use a biomarker tracker, sleep well, uh, and eat plants that have been stressed. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about some of these things. And, and I see the comments uh, uh, rolling in. And, and you can watch uh, some of the stuff from PHI, step-by-step uh, -step breathing, uh, um, which, which, which uh, uh, David Sinclair talks about in, in our previous video. You can click that link uh, below um, and, and you can learn to breathe right uh, in the right way. But I want to talk a little bit about some of... Um, the, the things that we can do, uh, I think, and the easiest thing to do, and, and here's some, some recommendations to reverse aging. And I'll, I'll, I'll probably end in another five minutes or so. Uh, but these are very simple tips that we can take to reverse our aging. And number one is about fasting and eating less. Um, it actually helps you live longer as it impacts cellular aging, uh, making you younger. Uh, so, so it's very interesting, lack of nutrients actually lead to production of sirtuins. So if you, if you Google sirtuins, S-I-R-T-U-I-N-S, you find that sirtuins actually help in terms of reversing your age, aging. Now, the other thing is that why eat less, right? Because every meal you consume actually creates lots of inflammation, oxidation, glycation, uh, lipotex, toxicity. And, and while the body tries to process all these nutrients, toxin and, uh, and, and chemicals, uh, uh, various things sort of, uh, enter our bodies and our bloodstreams and our cells. And, 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 and it's very, it's complex processing that happens. So the less meals you eat, actually the less inflammation and, and, and oxidation and, and toxicity uh, uh, happens. So uh, fasting, and, and we talk, I mean, many people talk about intermittent fasting. These are very helpful uh, for all of you. Now, the next thing is about eating whole grain mood, uh, uh, sort of food, a healthy, mainly plant-based diet consisting of vegetable, mushroom, pulses, um, whole grains, white meat, fish. I mean, you know, I, again, I, I, you know, for reasons uh, 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 because of, of, of certain diseases or, uh, in the family and so on, you know, I started becoming a, a, a vegetarian, but that's, it, it's not really about that. It's really about being able to eat healthy uh, being able to consume, uh, you know, for David Sinclair himself, he he consumes uh, probiotic yogurt and uh, he takes a couple of other supplements. But you know, avoid avoiding sugary drinks, sugary foods, um, eating less. Really, uh, I I have started to consume two meals instead of three. Uh, I think it's it works really well. Uh, the third thing is about exercise, right? And and you won't believe. Um, uh, exercise can actually change over 600 genes. I mean, there are studies that show that just simple and moderate exercise can change over 600 genes. Um, it not only makes us healthier, but it actually slows down aging. Uh, so you will never find really super obese people um, who, are un or who, who don't really exercise or do moderate walking and stuff who are above the age of you know, 90 or 100. Um, and, and so that's that's something that's uh, important. I think that's motherhood, right? Uh, the next few may not may not um, uh, be so clear. Reducing stress, right? So stress actually uh, creates uh, uh, problems and toxicity and, and so on. And and breathing, meditation, and again, you know, we, we learned about how to breathe right using the Wim Hof method of breathing, right? Um, people with chronic stress actually live longer. So we can reduce stress by breathing, spending time on reflection, meditation. And, and again, you know, last couple of weeks, we've been talking about this, right? Um, and, and personally, right, I, I realized uh, just by, by breathing, by, by keeping ourselves fit, sometimes reducing the stress, uh, moving the stress away, uh, we find that uh, our whole being sort of is dramatically changed. 
in many, many different ways. Now, this next few recommendations actually come from David Sinclair and some of the, uh, the studies that have come. Th these are supplements, right? Like NMN, metformin is a, is a, is a drug actually um, that's recommended to keep sugar down. Revestrol uh, helps again with the epigenome uh, uh, alteration. It helps to, to fix that. Um, and, and there's many others. I mean, if you Google David Sinclair, you'll be able to see some of the, the difference. I wouldn't recommend it if you're young, girl, you know, below 60, uh, but as you age, uh, these are these are some some great tips and and the final sort of things again you know we learned this from Wim Hof we learned this from some of the other things is how you build your immunity because when you're strong and you have great immunity um, things will be great um, so again I I know there'll be so many comments from all of you each of you will have different recommendations uh, so share with us some of your comments um, and uh, I think uh, I have been fasting. Uh, for a while, does boost focus and energy, absolutely. And and the, the other thing, Dinesh, I think that's interesting, and I find this for myself, um, just cutting meals, right? Uh, so not real fasting, like 16 hours, like just doing, you know, 8, 12 hours uh, sometimes. You know, the, the, the thing is that your body actually, uh, energy goes to digestion when you eat. So the less you eat, the less energy is spent on digestion. And I think you mentioned energy, uh, uh, that you feel a lot more energy. Um, and, uh, and, and Karam says, stay away from pork. Uh, or he wants it, <laughs> but 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 the reality is that there is um, uh, 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 two skinny fellas drinking water, boring, right? Uh, absolutely. So you can enjoy your food. Um, I really think you can enjoy your food. Um, enjoy it, right? I mean, I think that's part of how we live longer, right? We we embrace the fellowship, we embrace the companionship. Uh, if you go back to the study that was done uh, earlier, um, it's really about companionship it's really about you know being part of a group of people together um and and that's that's some of the studies that we we found you know that was earlier i'd love to hear some of your thoughts i see you know different people becky uh exercise uh plenty of sleep a good diet trans mass absolutely uh all of this are very helpful um but what here's the, the breakthrough i think many of us in our mind we believe that we've been we we are conditioned to think 60s 70s are oh, I'm old um, but I think we have to reframe that conditioning to say 60s, 70s, I'm young. I'm probably going to live to 120. How do I stay healthy to 120? I think that reframing of our mind is going to be extremely helpful. Uh, so as we start thinking about these communities, as we start thinking about you know, this, the, the, the nuns of Mankato, as we start thinking about um, the, the, Lo, the Loma Linda community, the Sardinia community, the Okinawa community, you know, they have different traits. But it's about family and, and it's about friends and family. Uh, it's about, you know, that ability to consistently have purpose in our life. I mean, that was another big thing in these studies, you know, to always say, I got something to do. I, 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 I can't go because I got a whole bunch of things to take care of. Uh, and I think if we do that well, there will be a lot of great stuff that can happen to that. So I wish you all the best. Um, I, I uh, again, we'll be back every Wednesday. We Wellness Wednesday. We'll have... Uh, we'll be trying, we're, we're, we're going to get Dr. Dave Sinclair, we're going to try and get Dr. Pradeep and a number of other uh, nutritionists, cardiologists and others uh, to join us on our show weekly uh, as we dive into how we can all, and, and, and my purpose, as I said in the first episode, right, um, is I don't want to just live long myself. I want all of us, my friends, uh, so that we can together be a community that's productive and we can enjoy each other, fellowship together and we can have a, a great sort of life together. All the best, everyone. Uh, have a great Wednesday, and I will see you guys next week, same time, same place. Uh, this is Roshan Tiran signing off for Wellness Wednesday. Goodbye, everyone.